Hi guys, welcome back. And we're now gonna put those licks that we learned in the previous lesson into the right place. Okay, so this is where the kind of real skill comes in because essentially we're not learning anything new, we're just moving them around. Okay, so when we do start the licks, okay, we start on the A here. So we do this lick. And then we go to the D here. So we do this lick. Then we go back to the A here, so we do that lick. And then we go to the D here, so we do that lick. But then we go to an A down here. Okay? So this is basically the same shape as this one. Okay? Imagine that finger there just here. And obviously my bar, I don't need it because we're using open strings. So this is based around that, that second lick, and of course based around pentatonic shape five in the open here, and shape one right there. So the lick we're playing here is this one. Okay, so just spend a second trying to work that out for yourself. How did I move that? What have I done? But you know, if you're not sure and you're really unsure on that uh, totally, then here it is. I'm just basically going from the chord, and I'm doing the open A string, which is the equivalent of where I was on the D. And then I'm going to slide from the second fret to the fourth fret, which is the equivalent when we're back in D of going, but now I'm down in A. So there's my pentatonic shape one. Make sure you can visualize it. And then we just continue through the lick. Again. Okay. Then we do the D here. So we go and do that lick again. Okay. So, so far, we've got A here, D, A, D. Then we've got A and D and the corresponding licks. Then we're going to come back to the A here, so we do the, as you would expect. But then the D we move up here. So, we go. Because of course, anywhere I move that chord shape, I can play that lick. Okay, so hopefully that concept is starting to sink in now. You can really see I'm kind of drilling it into your skull here. Now, that is actually the progression, and it goes around twice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is really slowly talk through that progression. Okay, and it's like this one, two, three, four, D. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're down here. D, now A, and then we do that whole thing again, okay, I'll go through a bit quicker. Exactly the same. And that, those parts all together, is your licks bit. Okay, let's just call it that, okay? Because apart from that, where you do that part twice around, the only other part of the track is when you're just playing one, two, three, four, and listening to the lovely kind of improvising at the top. You're just kind of relaxing. You just go through these chords four times. So that's twice round, three, four. This is the third time round. And this is now the fourth time round. So at this point, all the soloing stops and you go into your licks. And so on from there.
okay? So that's basically it. If you wanna just double check the structure of the song, of course you have it all on tab and we've got the little chord chart for you as well. So either way, however you do it, you should be able to put this track together. But remember the key principle as to why you're learning it. It's that one lick can be applied to every single chord, okay? I played just two licks in that song and it sounded really varied and really cool. And that is the essential learning thing that we got to get out of this, okay? So have fun with it, good luck, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.